good governance uh, affect sustainable development. Uh, I think having good governments, uh, and by that I mean democratic governance, is, is essential to sustainable development because uh, uh, in order for uh, development to take into account the preferences and needs of all people, not just people today, but their children and grandchildren, uh, it's essential that the, the government who acts on behalf of the public uh, uh, have some reason to take into account all these preferences and needs. So, so governance is, is uh, at the core of achieving sustainable development. What are the current deficiencies in, in selecting presidents and, and leaders? Uh, uh, and thinking just about the deficiencies in the French presidential system, the American presidential system, uh, I'd say that the, that the main problem is that it's quite possible, in fact, it has actually happened historically on a number of occasions, that the person elected president was a minority candidate in the sense that a majority of the public actually preferred someone else. Uh, and a, a system which uh, elects uh, candidates who, who capture only a minority of the public support uh, are clearly not going to uh, represent uh, the public at large. So what, what are the consequences of these deficiencies uh, on different areas of society? I, I'd, I'd say that the, that the main problem is that if you have a leader who is not representing a majority of the public, uh, the priorities of that leader may be um, distorted in favor of special interest groups, uh, particular lobby, lobbying groups. Uh, the, the, the more people uh, a leader can, can represent, the more likely it is that that leader will be, behaving, will, will be acting on behalf of society in general rather than on, on behalf of special interest groups. So the question is, is, uh, is every region of the world affected by this deficiency? I'm, I'm afraid that in, in, that in general the answer is yes. That is, uh, uh, most democratic countries uh, use electoral methods with the same sorts of deficiencies that the French and American systems have. And uh, uh, there are historical reasons for this, but now that we, uh, we know better, I hope that these different areas of the world, these different countries of the world, can improve their electoral systems. In what way can we improve the selection process? In, in my seminar today, I will outline a very simple method that could be used uh, to avoid the uh, election of minority candidates, and, 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 and that is to allow voters to express their preferences more fully. Usually in elections, voters vote for single candidates, uh, and they don't have the opportunity to say uh, which other candidate they might like to have elected if, if the candidate they vote for is not elected. By, by allowing voters to express their preferences more fully and say, I like candidate A the best, but if A is not elected, then I want B second, and so on, we, we can avoid uh, the uh, historical problems that the French system, the American system, have generated.